position. So let's get that right knee onto the ground. If you've been with me on strength flow the past two days, uh, you're going to recognize these movements. I'm really trying to get these things built in this week. All right, so the right knee's on the ground. We're going to work a nice hinge forward to get those hands onto the floor. We're going to get that right hand behind the head. We're going to open up that chest. We're in that half kneel position. Elbow to the sky. And let's take that elbow reach under through the body. And then inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. Inhale on the way up. Exhale on the way down. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Let me get back to a reset position for me, please. Right foot comes forward, that left knee's on the ground. Hands go to the floor as we load up that right hamstring. You're gonna feel a little bit of tension there. We're gonna get that left hand behind the head. Let's open up that chest, taking that left elbow to the sky. And then exhale on the way down. Inhale on the way up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale on the way down. We've got two more. Strong inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Final one. Exhale. All right. Come to a double kneel position. So your knees are going to be on the floor. We're going to get into a loaded beast for a moment. We're just going to treat this as more of an activation. So let's get those hands onto the floor, knees underneath the hips, and I want you to lift those knees off the ground. When we're in this position, I want you to pull those shoulders down. I want you to think righty tighty with the right hand, lefty loosey with the left hand. So we're trying to turn the crease of the elbow forward, strong through the belly, strong through the hips. Give me one more big breath, big inhale. And on the exhale, really engage. Squeeze everything you can. Try to squeeze those feet and hands together. Feel that body start to turn on a little bit more. And let's make our way on up. All right. We got five reps. We're going to work a strong hinge, strong squat, and reverse lunge, reverse lunge. If you didn't catch that, just follow me. All right, strong hinge. Drive those hips back. Stand tall. Drop into that squat. Right leg steps back. Reverse lunge. Left leg steps back, reverse lunge, reset, strong hinge, squat, right foot steps back, left foot steps back, strong hinge, strong squat, right foot, left foot, reset, hinge, squat, right foot, left foot, now one more round, strong hinge, strong squat, lunge, lunge, all right, so the past few weeks in this class, we've been working on variations of drop squats. So we got a tall stance, you get down to that athletic position. All right, so we're going to have a little fun with that one today, and we're going to add a little more plyometric to make sure we are appropriately where we're awake, and then we'll get into our actual workout. All right, so let's go nice and tall for me. You can't just feet are a little bit off, your heels a little bit off the ground. Reach for the sky. When I say down, you're going to athletic position. And jump, tall, jump, tall, drop as quick as you can, jump, tall, jump, tall, jump, excellent, reset. All right, we're going to get a little bit of movement, a little dynamic going on, and I'm going to be calling out a side. When I say down, you're going to drop onto that side. Got it? You're going to hold until I say go back to your jaw. All right, so let's go to our jog. Nice little jog in place. We're right on the feet. And right. Jog. Right. Woo, we lost it. Jog. Little instability. Left. Jog. Left. Jog. Left. Jog. And right. Relax. All right. We've got six strong jumps. We're going to be 
be going to the sky or you're trying to get to the ceiling. If the ceiling is right here, let's go ahead and modify this one for you super tall people. Don't jump through the sky or your ceiling. All right, we are gonna have a little bit of tempo of this, so stay with me. All right, once you pull those hands down, load up. All right, we're not in a bottom squat, we're in a nice athletic position. And jump, reset, pull down, hold. Jump, reset. Jump, reset, jump, two more, strong as you can get, jump, reset, jump, and relax, all right, so hopefully you're awake by now, so we got 40 seconds of work, we've got 20 seconds of recovery, and it's pretty simple workout today with a lot of volume, so we're really going to be feeling some muscles working here, all right, <clears throat> So, if you were here early, you, had, uh, you heard my request of grabbing a chair or a stool. It's not needed. I'm going to give you modifications. If you don't have one or if you do have one, it doesn't matter. You're still working. All right. All we're starting off with right now, Bulgarian split squats or split squats and our crouching tiger push-up, which is just fun to do. All right. So, if you're using a chair or a stool, I want that right foot onto that elevated surface. If you don't have it, that right foot's just back, all right? We're pulling down to that lunge position, and we're just working that side. So that right foot is back. You reset again to join anybody who is working the Bulgarian. We're nice and strong. We're looking forward. Not falling over like I almost just did. Depth is where you can keep that front heel on the ground. And we're strong to the rib cage. We're strong in that upper back. We're not worried about repetitions here. We're worried about strength and control. So four, three, two, and relax. All right, quick breather. That left foot's gonna go in a chair or left foot's gonna step back into that split squat position, which looks identical. Back foot's just not elevated. All right. Left foot on, let's work. Either left foot is on or left foot is back in that split squat position. A nice strong control, strong pull on the way down, strong drive or hip extension. Again, you're pressing through that front heel. So whether you're in the split squat or Bulgarian, you're driving through the heel. Three, two, and relax. All right, let's give those legs a little breather. We're going to take it down to the ground. We did this move a few weeks ago, this crouching tiger push-up. Give you a quick visual of what it looks like. You'll be in a push-up position. You're going to pull down, stay as close to the ground as you can. Sitting hips back, coming back, chest to the ground, pressing up. All right, plank position, pull down, sit those hips back, back to that lower position, press up, pull down, sit back, knees off the floor, press back forward, press the sky. If you're on the knees, it looks a little something like this. You're still sitting hips back, you're still gliding across the floor, and you're still pressing up. This can easily be done on the knees, it's more of a child's pose when you get to that back position, but that's absolutely fine. Working through this at your pace, strong sit back, strong press, pulling to the ground. Three, two, and relax. All right. Getting back to that split squat or Bulgarian split squat. You take your medicine, right foot's gonna be stepping back. All right, for Bulgarian, let's do something like this. Let's work. Okay, you're pressing through that front heel. Now jump back down in case anybody jumped on late. If you're not working that chair, that Bulgarian, you're just working a strong split squat. You're still driving through the front heel. You're still working that front quad. Ooh. 
slide back. So I get to transition on and off so much. And relax. All right. Left foot's going to be stepping back. We're going to be working that right leg. Again, today's a lot of volume. We're not jumping around between a lot of movements. Let's go and get set up. Left foot back. Let's work. So as we're working through this second round, hopefully we're starting to master this movement a little bit, feel a little more comfortable. For any of you, any of you who do have uh, weights, dumbbells, kettlebells, med balls, you can start introducing those into that third round if you really want to work as strong as you can today. But I have no weight, this is plenty challenging. And relax. All right. Crouching time, your push up coming back up. Again, for anybody who's starting to get a little fatigue or if it's just too much, you can stay on the knees. It looks just like a normal push up. We just pull back, more of a child's pose, and then pressing back up. All right, for the kid, you're on toes, going down, sitting back, glide across the floor, press, pull down, glide, load, glide, press. Halfway through. Create those tension points. It's not about being efficient here. I want every rep as strong as the last. And relax. All right. We're two rounds through. We're going to get back to that split or Bulgarian split squat. Each side, crouching tiger, and we're moving on. All right. Right foot either steps back in that split squat or you load up onto that chair. Let's work. Give me some checks here. Think about that heel. Are you driving through the heel? Or are the toes starting to turn red on you as you're loading them up? Strong breath. Preferably that to the floor. And relax. All right, done with that side. So we've got to finish off the right. If you haven't done Bulgarians before, you're going to feel something a little new tomorrow, I hope. All right. Let's take that left foot on back. Split or Bulgarian. Pull down and drive. Halfway. We're going to move back to upper body as soon as we get to this side. So it's lazy a nice little breather. But that chest is going to get a nice finisher. And relax. All right. Get back to that crouching tiger push-up. A couple of breaths. All right, when we get done with this, though, it is a very quick transition. So a few of you have asked you if you had a barrel roll or something like it to grab it. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Load it up, push up position. Pulling down, sitting back. Glide, press. So now that we have this movement down, let's start talking about what's next. Next, we're pairing up single leg glute bridges, preferably elevated, so if you can get that foot that heel onto something, like that barrel roller, maybe a med ball if you have one, 
That's extremely challenging. And a yoga block if you have one. If you don't have one, it's absolutely fine. It's still going to be a very challenging movement. And relax. All right, well, I have your attention. I'm going to show you this quick setup, but you have a few moments to breathe. If you have a barrel roller, heels are going to go on, toes pull towards you, and we're going to go single leg, working that glute bridge. If you don't have a barrel roller, it looks a little something like this. Or if you don't have something to elevate with. On that, let's work. Driving through that right heel, creating those tension points through the feet. So whether you're on the ground, on a roller, on a yoga block, you're driving that knee away from the body, really trying to activate that glute. If you have found a barrel roller to work with, hopefully this is giving you a new respect for the foam roller or barrel roller. And relax. Woo! Breathe. Left side coming up. Got time. All right. Stride that right leg up. Pull those toes towards the knee. Let's work. Strong through that hip extension, strong through that knee drive. If you're on an unstable surface, you're going to feel that hamstring having to work a little bit more to stabilize it. the hands, your pace, smooth transition. All right, smooth and strong. Plank position, walk down to those forms, hands, your pace. My only request is that you try to alternate which hand you keep leading with. And then every time you get to those plank positions, whether low plank or hands, or high plank. Pull those shoulders down. Last four. Three, two, and relax. Whew. Simple movements as far as we're not jumping around a lot today. This volume should hopefully be catching up with you a little bit. All right. To set that up for that glute bridge, that single leg glute bridge, I like to get both heels on. Let's leave that right heel down, drive that left leg up. Let's work. If you need to take this one to double, we just work two rounds to double, that's absolutely fine. Or you can take it back down to the floor if you are elevated. Woo! Exhale as you work that hip extension, as you drive that knee away. Woo, mine are getting short reps. Three, two, and relax. Woo, going to feel those tomorrow. All right, we're taking it over to the left side. Let's pull those toes towards the knees. Again, if you're on the ground, it just looks like this. Now, there's nothing different. You're just not elevated. All right. Let's work. That strong, strong knee drive. Try to create as much distance between your hip and your knee.
10 seconds. Your pace. And relax. Woo. Gee, that last rep. All right. Back to the upper body. Again, high plank, low plank, low plank, high plank. Only request is that you're alternating those hands. Whichever one initiates that press. All right, let's hit that high plank position. Walk it down to low. Take it back to high. This can be done on the knees. If this is a little bit much to do on the toes, you can still work this movement on the knees. Sorry to touch on that on that first round. But I'd rather see quality of movement than you just trying to get through sloppy reps. Three, two, and relax. Ooh. This third round is going to be fun with those hammies. All right. Roller, no roller, yoga block, no yoga block. It doesn't matter. You're setting up wherever you need to be. Final round on each side. Right foot stays down. Let's drive. Right, about 15 seconds left to work. That doesn't mean to speed up. Just let you know where you are so you can fight for these last few strong reps. And relax. Woo. All right, big breath. Let's finish off that left side strong. We're thinking about creating that distance from that knee through that hip with every rep. Load it up. Let's work. We just have a quick two minute finisher. <clears throat> we did these a few weeks ago. All right, these are those rotational pogos. All right, you're making as many contacts as you can as possible, as short amount of time as possible. All right, so let's do a quick setup. All right, take your feet. I want you to hop 45 degrees to the left. Okay. Up, back to the right. Now I should add a little bit of rhythm to that. Okay? Now get those hands working opposite directions. Now, that's it. 
All right, here's gonna go by 20 times faster. All right, only two minutes. This is our finisher real quick. 10 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Athletic stance, you're light on the feet, especially if you're barefoot. Two, one, let's work. Faster, faster, faster. Stay low, stay low. Relax. Breathe. Try to stay low. Try to stay light. Three, two, one, go. Relax. Exhale. back up before we start trying to work that belly so our hip flexors don't take over. For those of you not staying, all right, let your heart rate come down first. First stretch, go to a door jam, put that arm 90 degrees against it, open up, let's get that chest open. 40, 60 seconds each side. All right, after you get through that, then I want you to either go to the half kneel or just do old-fashioned quad stretch. All right, wherever you want to live today, it's not me. 